had an interesting conversation with uh, one of our partners uh, last week. Well, two of our partners last week, actually. And this, uh, I think there's a, there's a good lesson to be learned here about following up and being tenacious with people. So um, the first one is uh, somebody who I had spoken to about a particular project, a particular opportunity that had come up way back in April, right? And that opportunity was for a funeral home. And um, and we were both very excited about it and it sounded great and nothing happened, right? The deal just never came off. She was never able to get back in touch with people and just, you know, things didn't happen. But she didn't leave it there. And she kept following up with them by email and, you know, touching base with them and popping into them every now and again because she knew it would have been an interesting uh, contract to have. And then what happened, and we're now in November, so we're going from April to November, so that's uh, April, May, June, July, August, September and October. So at least seven months later, they've signed on the line and she now has managed to make the sale and it's a very interesting sale for her. So that's one thing. It just shows, so follow up. Even if you think it's lost, you know, don't put a lot of time and energy into following up. I mean, you need, you need a process and make sure it's easy for you to follow up and it's not taking a lot out of you. Here's another one. So somebody else I was talking to and um, she had a very interesting prospect as well. But when she spoke to the prospect, the prospect said, oh, if you charge so much for a website, and um, my cousin's actually, I've, I've, I've already hired my cousin to do my website and she's doing it for a thousand dollars less. So I won't be able to do that. But this partner said, well, let's let's just talk about it anyway, because I, I, I like your business. I'd like to look at a few things with you. And so she did. And she, she sat down and she had a meeting with her. And um, at the end of that meeting, the client said, well, as I said, you know, my cousin is going to do my website and she's going to do it for a thousand dollars less. So, you know, I don't think this is going to work out. And our partner said, no problem, but why don't you just let me put together a proposal for you so you can just make sure that you're comparing apples with apples. Okay, she said, uh, and the partner put through the proposal the following day and the client came through and accepted the proposal. So just be tenacious, right? You know, don't, don't just, when, don't, don't take the first no as a no, okay? Um, Go on a step further, you know, try and kind of build that relationship with them, help them out, understand their business, show them that you're different to everybody else and, you know, show them the value that you can provide. And, you know, just just go that extra mile, take that extra step, because it would have been just as easy for that partner to say, OK, that's fine and not do anything about that and, and not have a sale and not even know that she'd lost a sale. And it would have been just as easy for the previous partner not to have followed up with that funeral home and not to get that business. So two things, follow up and be tenacious.